Cartoon Classics. Where did he go, George? Which way did he go? Mm, that way. Well, gee, thanks a lot, George. Thanks a lot. What's the matter, Bunny Rabbit? Speak to me. Why don't you say something? I'm only three and a half years old. <laughs>
Ten years for this day, so happy birthday to you. The buzzard. Well, no, that's mighty neighborly of the buzzard. What a now, a book. Just what I've always never wanted. Lions rarely live beyond the age of ten years. Ten years? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kushla McCree! 
One, two, three, four, uh, five, yep, six, yep, it's uh, ten, all right, Leo, absolutely right. You're not getting any younger, Leo. Nope, uh, no younger. Not getting any younger, he says. Well, I'm not getting any older, neither. <laughs> this on for size. Oh, the everlasting nerve! You can't even wait till I'm decently deceased before you try to devour me. Oh, I know you went and hurt my feelings. I'll hurt more than your feelings, you carnivorous canary. Temper, temper, Mr. Lion. <laughs> You shouldn't exert yourself like that, Mr. Lyle. Come down here, you molten seagull! <laughs> no, 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 I couldn't do that. Oh, no, no. Prepare to defend yourself, then. I'm coming up after you. Be more careful, Mr. Lion. Uh, toodaloo. <laughs> Mr. Lion, I'll get you down. Yes, sir, have you down in a jiffy. Now, 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 now wait a minute. Don't bother yourself at all. I'll, I, I'll be getting myself down. No friend of mine's gonna get himself down. No, no friend of mine. For you. You're never going to get me. Never! 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 <laughs> I fooled him. I fooled him. He'll never get me up here. <laughs> oh, well, uh, uh, Leo, what kept you?
might as well eat me now and have done with it. But tis hoping you're talking on me, I am. Oh, uh, sorry, Leo. Uh, I can't eat nothing but marshmallows. Uh, but have one. endless reaches of the universe, there once existed a planet known as Krypton, a planet that burned like a green star in the distant heavens. There, civilization was far advanced and had brought forth a race of supermen whose mental and physical powers were developed to the absolute peak of human perfection. But there came a day when giant quakes threatened to destroy Krypton forever. One of the planet's leading scientists, sensing the approach of doom, placed his infant son in a small rocket ship and sent it hurtling in the direction of the Earth just as Krypton exploded. The rocket ship sped through star-studded space, landing safely on Earth with its precious burden, Krypton's sole survivor. A passing motorist found the uninjured child and took it to an orphanage. As the years went by and the child grew to maturity, he found himself possessed of amazing physical powers. Faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings at a single bound, the infant of Krypton is now the man of steel, Superman! To best be in a position to use his amazing powers in a never-ending battle for true justice, Superman has assumed the skies of Clark Kent, mild-mannered reporter for a great metropolitan newspaper. Kent, I want to see you. Just received another threatening note. Okay, Mr. White. Lois, another note from the Mad Scientist. Coming in, Chief. Now listen to this warning. He plans to strike tonight. Beware, you fools. My electrothanasia ray strikes tonight at 12. Total destruction will come to those who laughed at me and failed to heed my warning. Beware, I strike at midnight. This nut may prove dangerous. Kent, you help Lois follow up her lead. She may have an angle on this thing. Yes, sir. But, Chief, I'd like the chance to crack the story on my own. Well, no. Thanks, Chief. But, Lois... Chief, don't you think that's a dangerous mission?
reporter for the... A story. I'll give you the greatest story of destruction the world has ever known. This looks like a job for Superman.
Congratulations, Lois. That was a great scoop. Yes, Chief. Thanks to Superman. so hardy and hale. I live on an island on the back of a whale. It's a whale of an island. That's not a bad joke. Its lord and its master is this handsome bloke. Oh, the most remarkable, extraordinary fellow. Sin the Salem. I scare all creation on land or on sea. But talk about women, they all fall for me. I take my adventures wherever they're found. I go on the brag, folks, but I've been around. Oh, the most phenomenal, extra special kind of fellow. <laughs> From the Valley of Serpents, these diamonds I took. I clean out those serpents with one dirty look. <laughs> monster so strong and so huge. He'd frighten King Kong, but he's only my stooge. The capture of Bula for me was just fun. Who ever said two heads were better than one? Ha! <laughs> 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 Phenomenal, extraordinary fellow. Juice, she loves the sailor. <laughs> <laughs> On one of my travels, I ran into this. Now there was a thrill I'd be sorry to miss. <laughs> He spread out his wings and the sunlight grew dim. He took me in his feet, but I ran all with him. Oh, the most remarkable, extraordinary fellow. Sinter the Salem. Oh, the most phenomenal, extra special kind of fellow. Sinter the Salem. I'm afraid of nobody under the sun. All I say is, boo, and my enemies run. Who's the most remarkable, extraordinary fellow? It's Popeye the Sailor. 
I'm made the same man. I'm strong to the finish, cause I eat me spinach. I'm hot by the sale man. I'm one tough gazookas, which hates all palookas, but ain't a knee up and square em. Why biffs and I bops em, and always have roughs em, but none of them gets nowhere. If anyone dasses to risk me fist, it's pop and it's wham understand. So keep good behavior, that's your one lifesaver with Popeye the Sailor Man. Well, I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Popeye the Sailor Man. I'm strong to the finish, cause I eat me spinach. I'm Popeye the Sway Whaler Man. Who falls the air with a note so sour and dares to challenge Zinbat's power? <laughs> Why, I fix him. <laughs> Rick that ship. <laughs> but bring me the woman. <laughs> oh. At all. Whew. Sorry I ever came in here. It's kind of spooky to me around here. What's this? Oh, oh yeah. <coughs> Trying to scare me like that, huh? <coughs> can you imagine that dumb mama nose trying to scare me like that, huh? Oh, can you do that? I just got a little wall here. Oh. Do I hear footprints in there? Oh. Oh, 
invited you. I did. What are you going to do about it, huh? How did you get in here? Oh. oh. Fouled again. Hmm? I must resort to my last hamburger. Oh. Oh. Huh? Hey, I want me goil. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Who are you? I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Who are you? Who am I? You heard what I said. Who am I? That's what I said. Why? Oh, the most remarkable, extraordinary fellow. Yo! Extra special kind of fellow. Yo! I'm all made oh. up. Nobody yeah, under the tongue. Oh. All I, I say oh. is, who oh. are my enemies wrong? Oh. Who's the most remarkable, extraordinary fellow? Who? Popeye the sailor. What? You better fix your shirt there, young fellow. Mm. Mm. Hey, hey, well, let's see how great you are. Hey, let's get down. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Oh. oh, what's this? Hey, let me down, you big old and old canary. What are you doing? Take me for a ride or something? Hey, let me go, he said. I'm not going your way. Come on, let me go. Hey. Take 
Ammo. I like it. Freddy Cat, this is only a tiny little bird. You mean a poor little dinsy wincy, itsy bitsy defenseless boy? Yes. Let me at him! Let me at him! I'll get him, baby! Gangway! I'll moitalize him! Let me at him! Take it easy! Take oh, it easy! I'll show him! Where's he get that stuff? Don't hold me back! I'll get him! I'll show him! Come on, quit your fooling. Don't get up that ladder. Push me, Evan! Don't push come on, me! Come on. I'm scared to go up high. I get hydrophobia. No, oh, I don't want to come. Don't, uh, what, don't push me. Oh, come on. Don't, you can't make me do it. You can't make me do it. <laughs> he do it. Come on, stupid. Get the bird. Oh. Give me the bird. Give me the bird. If the haze office would only let me, I'd give him the boy, all right. Under control. Don't push me down in a box, Babbitt. Please don't do it. Don't do it. Hey, Babbitt. Oh, Babbitt. Babbitt. What's the matter now? I'm afraid of the dark. Well, I'll let you out then. No. I thought I tore a putty cat. I did. I tore a putty cat. Cheap. 
Bubba. I'm just no good. Oh, the brakes were against you. I'm a flopperoo. I can't even get the boy. Don't worry. You'll get it, all right. You mean I'll get it in the end? Yeah, and you'll get a big bang out of it, too. Well, that sure takes a load off of my mind. Clowning. What's the matter with you? Aren't you ashamed? I don't know. Why do you do these things? I'm a bad pussycat. Oh, I just can't seem to get the boy. Get no use. Don't worry. I can't do it. This'll get you up there. Contact. 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 Music lovers. <laughs> First, we will hear a waltz written by Johann Strauss. <laughs> and as we hear the rhythmic strains of the haunting we flain, listen to the whip wing rhythm of the woodwinds as it rolls a wound and a wound, and it comes out here. <laughs>
Wasn't that lovely? And now we will present the beautiful Boo Danube. <laughs> than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, 
able to leap tall buildings at a single bound, this amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the Man of Steel, Superman. Empowered with X-ray vision, possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice, disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. What are you doing here? Oh, just getting the woman's angle on this story. The mechanical monster! Look out! this in. Yes, I'll give you the details later, Chief. All right, Lois. Let Lois! for Superman. What a 
story this is going to make. The jewels. What have you done with the jewels? You'll read about it in tomorrow's paper. Are you going to tell me what happened to those jewels? <laughs> She's doomed. That's a wonderful story, Lois. Thanks, Clark, but I owe it all to Superman.
to decide who the actors will be. I think I'll make the hero in me. Mmm, <laughs> the hero riding is handsome and smart. Why, Popeye the sailor is great for the part. <laughs> my secret iron hide. Then I shall be the ruler and you shall be my bride. Eh? <laughs> uh, yeah. Let me see, where was I? Where was I? Uh, A rub on this lamp will bring riches and fame. This lamp is well guarded by torrents and flame. But one dare secure it, Aladdin's his name. He liveth on the corner of Chow and Main. Aladdin shall help me this lamp to obtain. Then Aladdin shall never be seen again. <laughs> Aladdin, the princess has chosen you to procure for her the magic lamp. Well, she made a good choice, and I'm just the to procure it. <laughs> Why, only you alone are with you on such a precarious mission. Yes, yes, yes. Sir, you're out of breeze. Maybe you better lay down for a couple of years. Sir. Beneath that rock is a dangerous passageway. It's a zoo. Beyond which you will find a golden lamp. Bring that lamp back to me. Well, bring that lamp back to you. Anything for the princess. I go for the princess. Yes, she is a letter. Go on, go on. Yes, I go. I go. <laughs> out of sapphires, I guess, huh? Oh, boy, I made good, I made good. 
Ah, oh, the suspense is terrible. I wish the lad would hurry with that lamp. Oh, my. Hey, mister, mister, I got the lamp. Ah, oh, the fence. The lamp. For oh, the princess. Yeah, that's right. For oh, the princess, I got it right close. Oh, oh. oh. The princess. Ha ha ha. That was only a trick, my fool. Only you and I know of this magic lamp. And soon you will forget. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. It's mine. I have it. It's mine. Oh! Oh, my lamp, the lamp. The lamp, the lamp. <laughs> I want the lamp. Hey, what happened? Where am I and how do I get out of this place? That's what I want to know. This place looks kind of spooky to me. Oh! oh. oh it's going to be up here. Oh, I wish I was light-headed so I could see what I'm doing. Oh, here's my last match. I hope I strike it lucky, that's all. Oh! I am the slave of the lamp. I come from the nowhere, I go to the no place, and here I am. You make a wish, and I give up. <laughs> you want something? Did you say a wish? A wish, a wish. I can have a wish, huh? Well, I wish I was out of here. Can you show me the entrance to the exit? Oh, certainly. Well, let's get out of here. You better. Hey, take it easy. Put your shop, push your push it on. I know what you'll do. Wow. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, an escalator. Winning in ladies' bargain basement on the top floor. Main entrance all out. <laughs> boy, I'm glad to get out of that hole, all right. <laughs> now if I can only find the bed. If you don't see what you want, rub for it. Hmm, that's a very good idea, I think. Take a try. Oh, hey, you. Oh, for goodness sake. Hey, you want something? Yes, yes, yes. What's all this magical stuff about? Well, I told you, I could fulfill up any wish or desire. Oh, there's something funny about this, Forty. I've got to test them out. I think I'll give him a tough one. Okay. I wish I was a wealthy prince. <laughs> you zeroed. Hey, what's going on back there? Oh, boy. <laughs> what can I do for you? I do most anything you ask me to. I go and get that pot of gold from the rainbow and bring it where you are. And then I'd hitch your wagon to a star. What can I do for you? Say, how'd you like to have your dreams come true? I'd like to make you happy through and through. Indeed, I do. So what can I do for you? Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Get a dog biscuit. <laughs> it's Aladdin. He's alive. He has the magic lamp, but he shan't have it long. <laughs> Yeah. Be a 
So tall, but uh, <laughs> I better get rid of this sticker. She has to have a little cut up or something. Huh? <laughs> Curses! <laughs> I've never made love in Technicolor before, I don't know. Princess, wouldst it please thee? Or, uh, wouldst it please thou? Uh, huh? What are you, a thee or a thou? Fairest one, I was about to say is that... Yes, I'll marry you! Oh, 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 oh. you will! Oh, she's gonna marry me! Oh, it's wonderful! I think she's making a big mistake, but I don't know... Oh, it, uh... <laughs> I go to bring me friends to the wedding. But I shall return. <laughs> oh, don't forget to come back. Heidi Ho Silver. <laughs> Away. The lamb! <laughs> I have a plan! Oh, attend dance, attend me! No lamps for old! Oh, see if you can help that poor man, then send him away!
I'm here. Now's my chance. The princess will soon be mine. <laughs> You want something? Go! I command you, carry this castle off to a far and distant land. You're crazy! I'm crazy, huh? Well, you'll do as I say. I'll put you with an image of your life. I didn't say I wouldn't. Then go!
Cinderella. Nobody loves me, it seems. And like a poor Cinderella, I find my romance in dreams. For that's where I meet my Prince Charming. When I'm with him, can't stay away. Just a poor Cinderella, but I'll be a princess someday. Cinderella! I hope you enjoy the ball. <laughs> Cinderella, oh. pretty Cinderella, you're unhappy, I can see. I'm your fairy godmother, listen to me. Dry your little eyes, there is no need to cry at all. You're so kind and gentle, you'll go to the ball. Go fetch me a pumpkin, a large one, my dear. Six mice and two lizards and bring them right here. Remember, when the clock strikes 12, you must be home by then. For should you fail to be in bed, you'll be in rags again. Remember, remember, remember. Thank <laughs> you. 
Why, you impudent thing. Oh, shut up, you jealous. Oh. How dare you. For two pins, I'd slap your face. Oh, you will with you. Yes, I will. What are you going to do about it? Oh, no, no, no. I'll oh, scratch your eyes out. I'll 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 scratch your eyes out.
gives me extreme pleasure to present our interpretation, intrepid, in, -um, interpretation of a familiar fairy tale entitled The Big Bad Wolf and a Tree Little Pig, set to the delightful music of Johannes Brahms' Hungarian dances. As the scene opens, we find the three little pigs building their respective houses. I'm the little pig that builds my house of straw.
faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings at a single bound, this amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. Sorry, I can't go with you, Lois, but I have another story to cover. Oh, that's all right, Clark. I'll see you in the office. like a job for Superman.
Superman turns up just when you need him. I didn't even get a chance to thank him. Which away? That away! Boardwalk on this beach, huh? If I had some bread, I'd make a sandwich if I had a witch. Huh? Food! Oh. 
It's a disappointment. Oh, Wimpy. Uh, would you care to join us, young fellow, huh? You know, that's just one of those invisible garages that you can't see on the desert. That's all it is. Rest. Oh. Uh, come on, we got the green light with us now. You know, I could go for a nice cold chocolate soda right now. <laughs> Popeye, olive oil has collapsed completely. Wow. Uh, keep your vitality up, Olive, huh? That's it. Oh. Come on, Olive. We gotta save little women and children from bandits. I'll get you out of this desert some way. I tank, we go now. Whoa. Water. Oh, boy. Come on, I'll revise you. Here we are. Here, I'll squelch your thirst for you. This is on the house. Is that good? Oh. 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 I'll ask in here for bandits. But first, we'll go get a cup of coffee over here. Oh, Come on in. Goody, am I sorry? Aren't we all, huh? Boy, this place is wide open. Oh. Well, I wonder where everybody is yes, around here. Maybe it's close for the winter. Cybers. Yeah, that's what we want. Survey. Cybers. Oh, there you are, huh? Hey, what is this? Double talk or something? I didn't send out any laundry. I can read reading, but I can't read right. This writing's rotten rotten, if you happen to ask me, huh? Hey, this Chinese is Greek to me. Haven't you got something to eat? Oh, that's better, huh? Bring me some desert without any sand this time, will you please? Oh, 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 He's out hey, gunning, yeah, yeah, so start him running from him and his squatty thieves. Abu Hassan, Abu Hassan. In every village, he'll steal and pillage. There's none he'll spare. Abu Hassan, Abu Hassan. If he should spy you, then we defy you to cross his path if you dare. Things get quiet. I start a riot as I go by. Abu Hassan. Abu Hassan. <laughs> and you'll discover they run to cover, because I'm a terrible guy. Understand it. Come on. Come on. Oh, there's a big bag of wind blowing through here someplace. Up. Hey, Shark. 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 Hey, give me back, me Shark. What's the big idea? Stop in the name of the Coast Guard. Come on, give me these clothes, huh? Who are you, Al? Oh, you little tough guy. Oh, Take me home for a dollar ninety-eight. Good half the price. I'll give you that. Two cents. Wow. Hey, your penknife's dead. I'll straighten it out for you. 
Ah. Oh. You, I show you. Hey, you gotta hurt somebody with that thing, huh? Oh. You got revitism. Yeah, I'll fix it for you. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh, Why, you look, 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 see. Yeah, I'm looking up. Oh. Hey, give me back that uh, belt. Uh, pretty good for uh, your finger, uh, huh? Watch uh, this one. How about, how about, how about? <laughs> Apple hasn't got them anymore. Oh, <laughs> you want to make fools from me, huh? Oh, nature beat me to it. I'll show you. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I hang them up shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> you make fools from me, huh? <laughs> oh, hey, I'm pointing the candles at both ends. Hey, let me out of this thing. Huh? Took. 
Hey, what is this? A wishing well or something? I wish I was out of this place. That's what I wish, huh? Oh, shit. Oh, just a little flounder. That's a wow. little snapper. That's a wow. Hey, you're liable to white your teeth, huh? Wow. Oh, yeah. Boy, somebody's gonna be sorry for this. Pimento University. Pimento U. Good old P.U. Pimento U, oh sweet P.U. Thy fragrant odor scents the air. A pox on Yale, poo poo Purdue. Pimento U, my college fair. Oh, Out tea. and away, the most popular fellows at, uh... <clears throat> Out and away, the most popular fellows at old P.U. are the three Dover boys. Tom, the fun-loving member of the trio. 
Dick, a serious lad of 18 summers, plus a winter in Florida, as related in the Dover Boys in the Everglades, and uh, Larry, the youngest of the three jerks, uh, uh, brothers. A gay outing at the park has been planned by the merry trio, and they are off to fetch their fiancée, dainty Dora Standpipe, at Miss Cheddar's Female Academy close by. With their usual punctuality, the boys arrive at the pointed hour of three. soon on their rollicking way. Forced to pass a certain public house, a tavern of unsavory repute, our young friends meet the distressing situation with their usual uncompromising moral fortitude. They know that even now, within this very tavern, Dan Backslide, the former sneak of Roquefort Hall, coward bully cad and thief, and arch enemy of the Dover Boys, squanders his misspent life. Hark! The Dover Boys. Drat them. Double drat them. They are escorting Dora Standpipe. Dear rich Dora Standpipe, how I love her! Father's money. Confound those Dover boys! Oh, how I hate them! I hate Tom! I hate Dick! And I hate Larry! They drive me to drink! <laughs> Let us draw the curtain on this sordid scene and turn to more pleasant surroundings, where we find our young friends engaged in a spirited game of hide, go, and uh, seek. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. No, no! In here! No, up here, up here! No, no, over here, over here! Over here. In here. No, no, in here. No, in here. Over 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 here. A runabout. I'll steal it! No one will ever know!
Oh, Dora, will no one save her from this predicament? Will no one come to her assistance? But hold on. What's this? It looks like an alert young scout. And that's just what it is. He'll not fail her, I'll venture. Telegram for the Dover, boys. Mrs. Tom, Dick, and Larry, carry away with Tavern Upper Bottleneck, New York. Sirs, quote, help! Unquote. Signed, Dora. 35 cents collect. Unhand her, Dan Backslide. Unhand her, Dan Backslide. Hey, we're getting in a rut. Stand up and fight, you coward, bully, cat, and thief. Oh, you haven't been thrashed enough yet, eh? And now it is time to say goodbye. Goodbye. $52.50. You will, of course, uh, pay the bill now before you leave, no? Uh, no, no, I mean, yes. Um, uh, my partner, Daffy Duck, will be re right back. He's out uh, he, uh, he, uh, cashing a check. Come on, seven. Be good to Daffy. Don't fail me now. Uh oh. Snake eyes. Too bad. You is a dead duck, duck. Uh, don't worry, uh, Daffy will be here in a minute with a uh, 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 money. Well, um, I hope so. Huh? Insulting my integrity! Hey, Fatso! Insinuating I flee this flea bitten dump! Hey, Fatso! Intimating I'd abscond with your financial remuneration! Hey, Fatso! Hey, look! A Dick Tracy character! Prune face! You have insulted me. We meet on the field of honor. My card. You've had your club. 
naughty racing for this week, Robespierre. You have insult me! We meet on the field of onion! Here. 
Hello, Central. Give me Bugs Bunny. Hello, Bugs. This is Daffy. Uh, what's up, Duck? That Palooka manager has got us locked up in the Broken Arms Hotel. We thought you could help us get out. Uh, did you try the elevator? Yes. Uh, tow him down the stairs? Yes. Use the seat? Yes. Swing across on the rope? Yes. We tried all those ways. Ah! Don't work, do they? That's all, folks. <laughs> Faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings at a single bound, this amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the Man of Steel, Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice, disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. Penetrating deep into the frozen wastes of the great Arctic plains, an archaeological expedition searching for prehistoric fossils makes an amazing discovery. A huge monster, as lifelike in appearance as when it roamed the Earth millions of years ago in the Mesozoic Age, is found frozen in the ice in a state of perfect preservation. Constantly handicapped by the hazardous sub-zero elements, the scientists and their band of tireless workers succeed in removing the mammoth creature from the frozen pit. The ice-encased monster is loaded into the hold of a huge freighter equipped with a special refrigeration plant and brought to this country. Here, in a specially constructed wing of the Museum of Natural Science, this awe-inspiring creature is displayed to the public for the first time. say that if the ice were permitted to thaw, there's a possibility the monster might still be alive? Thank you, Professor. Yes, Chief. Lois, there's a new angle on that frozen monster story. Get over to the museum and see what's doing. They've got him in a special refrigerator. Okay, Chief. Oh, Lois, want me to go over there with you? No, thanks. You'd probably faint if you saw the monster. You scare so easily. Maybe she's right, but Superman hasn't fainted yet. And produces the necessary refrigeration. The control board is downstairs. I'll show it. The entire plant is operated from this board. The thermometer must be watched constantly as any rise in temperature might prove dangerous. Boy, what a story. Everybody, step lively, please. Use the nearest exit. 
Please, folks, keep moving. We have to clear this room at once. That's what he thinks. Police headquarters. Hello, Chief. Send the riot squad. We're in trouble. Give me the city desk. Hurry! is in the museum. Better get over there, Kent. Right. This looks like a job for Superman. where you'll be safe. I've got some work to do. Yes, sir. And this the best story in years? Slow chance. Courage getting that monster story, Lois. Thanks, but where were you? Me? Oh, I must have fainted.
surprise her with these flowers. Oh, I brought you orchids. Flowers. Hello, Olive. I come to take you to the zoo to see the animals. I'm too busy, Popeye. Oh, you're lost. But you can take Sweet Pea. Huh? Okay. Come on, Sweet Pea. We're going to the zoo. Don't let them get scared. Oh, I'll take good care of them. Don't worry about that. Well, zoo to you. Remember, don't frighten him. Young fella, you've chucked your last chuck. Oh, oh, hey, I don't know. 
consultation. to play with aminals, play with this. <laughs> huh? Well, what's the matter with that man? Is that cute? Oh, oh. Well, I There's no ifs or maybes. I'll never have babies. I'm caught by the sailor man. Uh, let's see now. Uh, 
You was trying to press the Gucci gate, uh, pre press the dance, uh, 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 press the, uh, 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 pull a rabbit out of the hat. Regarde. <laughs> Carrot? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, come out and get the nice carrot, pretty bonny.
ganz deutsches Gefladen geflogen mit der Kommandos in der Rolle über der Place. Uh, verstunken hat von um das Hitlerschwein. Ich mix mir so meine Weide und es sind nur Trupps, die schreien, der schießt und der Schuss auf. Ich weiß nicht, was der Lässe bedeuten, was es schnellen so kann. It's a the sign of the old world over. It's the poor what gets a the blame. While the rich is all the gravy. Now ain't that a blinkin' shame? Put out those lights! Schultz! <laughs> When you hear the turn, it will be exactly 6.45 and one quarter. Schulz? Mm. 6.45 and one quarter. Mm. May I present you with this little token of our esteem? For me? Danke schön, danke schön. Oh, uh, just a little going away present. Well, see you around. Mrs. 
Messer Smith. A whole mess of Messer Smith. A mess of Messer Smith. <laughs> Faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings in a single bound, this amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the Man of Steel, Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice, disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. Lois Lane and Clark Kent. Give me a follow-up on this bullet car story. Attention. The destruction of your police station today was only a small demonstration of our power. Unless your mayor turns over the entire funds of the city treasury, Power plants, firehouses, and all municipal buildings will be next. Take heed. This is your last warning. What are the authorities going to do about this, Mr. Mayor? We won't be intimidated by criminal threats. Law and order must and will prevail. Thank <laughs> you. 
volunteers! This looks like a job for Superman. Another great scoop for you. It was easy. Thanks to Superman. She's going with herself. Mm, I'm crazy about a man in a uniform. Would you, you like me if I wore a uniform? Why, I just love you. 
Me, brother. Yeah, not me. Wow. Take a look at this. Uh, just to give you an idea what a big star I was in the movies. One of those big shots, you know. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess they're kind of quiet now. Oh, big shot, eh? It's kind of quiet around here, don't you think? Huh? Take it in, eh? Well, I'll make a little noisy for you. What do you got there? Sissy Corella or something, huh? Get your eye on this. Give me some more. Well, I could do that with a trick gun myself. <laughs> How do you like that, Colonel here? Not bad. Why, that's nothing. Get a load of this, Colonel. <laughs> I played a dual role in this picture. Well. <laughs> Bye, 
listen to its fizz. Provides immediate relief from hypergasicity, banishes after dinner discomfort and loginess. Say, this tin termite is a Nazi, a folk wolf in sheep's clothing. Uncle Dillingham duck. Did I cry spinach when I stood a duck on Plymouth Rock? Did I in Washington give up with their lip fortune hog? Did Dan O'Boone and me quite quits when engines saved our scalp? Did John Paul Duck give up the ship or ever holler help? Hey, Daffy, Americans don't give up. No, Daffy, Americans. That's right. And I'm an American. Duck. Up there in the sky. It's a bird. No, it's a plane. No, it's Super American. Sabertooth tiger. Well, anyway, half a one. Well, this isn't getting me breakfast. Here, Fido. <laughs>
you're cranky before breakfast, too. Be quiet! Mm. Yum, yummy. My favorite vegetable, duck. like he's crazy. That is correct. Absolutely 100% correct. So that's the way it is, eh? All right, then. Cavemen get to go swimming, but I never get to do anything. Well, what are you looking at? Don't just stand there. Do something. Now go get it. The big lummox. <laughs> well, now isn't that clever? The hunter's helper. <laughs> now come on. for a guy that never took a lesson in his life. <laughs> Wait here. Duck breakfast. Gee, I can hardly wait. Come on, Fido.
maybe that wasn't such a hot idea after all. Good night, folks. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. This amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. What do you think of the professor's show now? I still think it's pretty dangerous business. Hope nothing goes wrong. gentlemen, that the safety of the public is of special import to you. Perhaps almost as important to you as my ambitions are to me. But you request that I give up my experiments, experiments which are the combination of 30 years of dreaming and planning is impossible. Tonight, those dreams will become real. The Comet of Falcon will be my toy. Under my control, it will be brought to within a mile of us. Then, after a close examination, I'll send it back again into space. Your tampering with nature endangers thousands of lives. Yes, and even at the possible cost of those lives, I shall continue my experiment. I warn you, Professor, we're prepared to stop you. And I warn you, sir, any interference may prove disastrous. Stop! The editor. Look, Chief, the panic's on. The thing's gone haywire. <coughs> Lois, Lois, what happened? Lois.
Are you all right? Yes, for the moment, but... Superman, you were wonderful. <laughs> You're pretty wonderful yourself. Oh, how did you get here? <laughs> Thanks to Superman. is the pride of the farm and the winner of many blue ribbons. He is trained to perform in every game. First, let's see you do a trot. Now the gallop. That's fine. Now do a canter. Oh, I'm happy about the whole thing. The way that you walk, the way that you talk. Hey, hey. That's enough of that. Here we find the farmer's faithful old watchdog. Though he is no longer very active, he still does a few little odd jobs around the house. One of his chores is to fetch the newspaper. Oh, there's the paper now. <laughs> <laughs> I can hardly wait to see what happened to Dick Tracy. Here is a group of cute little piggies playing in the mud. Well, what are they up to? They seem fascinated by that clock. Oh, well. Here's a proud mother hen, carefully watching over her eggs, anxiously awaiting the eventful day. What a happy little family this will be. What's this? A weasel, the ruthless thief of the barnyard watching his chance to sneak in and steal those defenseless little eggs. 
He draws closer and closer and closer. we find many species of bird life. The birds always... Oh, look up there. No, no, over to the left. See? A little owl nestling inside the tree trunk. an interesting sight. A young couple laboriously building their nest with a bit of string from here and a piece of straw from there. A little twig, a bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, a bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, string, straw, string, string, straw, twig, string, straw, twig, string, straw, twig. of the woods, field mice make their home. Here we see one of the most common types. Say, he seems to be a bit worried. Tell me, little fellow, what seems to be troubling you? I don't know, Doc. I... I just keep hearing things. Even the tiniest of insects, such as the ants, have a language all their own. Emerging from the opening comes a female of the species. If you listen very closely, you can hear her calling to her young. Modern farm is conducted on a business like, well, here are those little piggies again. Say, piggies, why don't you go off and play? <coughs> oh, well, suit yourself. Here is one of the strangest friendships that has ever been known. Natural enemies, yet living together as friends. A cat and a mouse. Tell me, is it true that the cat takes good care of you? And keeps you nice and warm? Well, that's truly a friendship. Now, before we leave you, is there anything that you would like to say to your friends in the audience? As the day draws to a close and the sun sinks slowly in the west, we reluctantly take our leave of the farm. Well, the piggies again. Are they going to stay there all night? What in the world can the attraction be? In the morning, in the 
We got fun. We never worry. No reason to fun. We never hurry. Take it easy, that's all. Okay, let it go. To December, ain't we got fun? Only good times to remember. Oh boy, what fun. In the meantime, in between time, ain't we got fun? In the morning, in the evening, ain't we got fun? Life is sunny. Oh, run! Run! Oh, there's we nothing to be run. afraid of. He can't hurt us. He can't get in here. The cat! Lights out! What's the rush? I'm not going to hurt you. Look what I've got for you. Uh, 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 uh. Later. Listen, you can have all the cheese you want if you cut the Oh, Anastal. Okay. There. And that's better. Now get going. Oh, that catty done told me out there in the kitchen. That catty done told you what? Oh, he's come here to save us, and not to enslave us. That cat's a rat just the same. Oh, no, kids. That cat is a two-face, a treacherous thing who leave us to sing the blues tonight. Please take my advice and don't be naughty mice. Appease him, or he'll get offended. <laughs> He wants to protect us from the ones who wrecked us. Please hear He wants to protect us. Oh, that's what I've been saying. Gee, that'd be fine. Now then hurry and sign a truce and go fight. have a feeling that you uh, wanted something, uh, but you didn't know what it was? Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, sure. Uh, I always get that feeling, too. I know. I want a nice, fat, tender mouse. Yes, sir, one nice, fat, tender mouse. Mouse? <laughs> You're a nice, fat, tender mouse. You'll do. Shark. <laughs> Grit your teeth, show some fight in the stuff that you're made of. Remember to never say die. We'll do more than that. Let's get, get rid, rid of, of that cat.
We did before and we can do it again And we will do it again We've got a heck of a job to do But you can bet it and see it through We did it before and we can do it again And we will do it again We're one for all and we're all for one They'll get a lick and before we're done Bill and the boys and the ringy Singing as we march along We did it before and we can do it again now listen, men, to back us out of a guy, you better leave a saga touching off the sub, see? And remember, above all, to add an over to a jibbo, reckon I'm Fosco, Fanny, Schnipper, and L on a filigadusha. You got that? Okay. Why not today? Thank you. Because I'm going to wash them. That's why not today. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Look at these dirty yeah, ones. I wonder how that mud is up here on the 20th floor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That guy thinks he's going to ruin my record, hey? Hmm. Hey, let me show you the real way to wash a window. I'll wash them. <laughs> oh, right in the eye. Oh, I can't see. Oh, bum, 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 bum. Oh. Ah, you're out of date with that stuff. Let me show you how we modern use it. Put a little whipped cream on the window. Let me see what it is. There you are. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, shrimp, get an eye full of this. Here's some real window cleaner. You don't. You look like a monkey on a string to me. Pardon oh. me. Oh. Whoa. Hey, I'm hanging in the algae tube. Hey, you'll have to knock somebody off some 
Ah, that's kindergarten stuff. Will you get a load of this with me suspenders? I'll show you how to do it. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I do it in swing time, you see. Oh. Yeah, well, watch this. Yeah, I'm watching you, but of course I don't see anything yet. Oh! 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 Oh, I'm falling, I'm falling. Oh! 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 Hey! Hey, my head's caught, I can't get out. Oh! Hey, get me out of here, somebody. Hey, you give me a pain in the neck, you. Oh! Why, you little fool, the head I put my head out. Oh, right, right, huh? Well, I think I'll be able to help you. Wow! Well, wait, give me that sledgehammer. Open it, open it, open it. There's a ladder over there. Oh, whoa! Whoa, no, 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 Clean the windows, huh? <laughs> Faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings in a single bound, this amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman! Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice, disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent.
And I still say Manhattan rightfully belongs to my people. Possibly, but just what do you expect us to do about it? You have a newspaper? Publish the truth. Have the island vacated immediately. It's fantastic. Why, that's ridiculous. Ridiculous? Maybe modern science will make you think differently. <laughs> I've never heard anything so absurd. You know, from the look in his eyes, I'd almost believe he was in earnest. No, he's just a harmless crank. Come ahead, Miss Lane. You wouldn't want to miss this story, I'm sure. measure. ready for the greatest story of your career. Come on, Kent. Let's get out of here. Looks like a job for Superman.
girl is still down there. the old island looks just as good as ever. That's right, Clark. Thanks to Superman. I'm just wild up all Harry and Harry's wild up all me. I'm a heavenly... Where are we going? Bye bye? I'm uh, sorry, but I don't want to go. Well, I'll be here. Cartoon Classics.